we'll see it another day. But this is Harrison Ford. Take a look. Watch. I am so excited to talk to you. I ran over from this from you. the set, and I told everybody that I was going to be interviewing you. And all the women are dying, and all the men are ooing and aahing, and, and I'm doing this. You walked in the room. You really have this unbelievable magnetism. And look at you. <laughs> no, you, it's just, it's amazing. You walk in a room, and there's something about Harrison Ford. How does it feel to be the sexiest man alive? <laughs> that was last year. No, that's this year, too. No. Uh, I mean, it's silly. I mean, uh, I don't, ha I don't know how to relate to that sort of thing. I'm pleased that that people enjoy the films that I do, and I, th you know, people don't know who I am. I, they they relate to the characters that I play. Do Do you put a piece of yourself in every one? Oh yeah, sure. There's a piece of, of you in all of what you do. And I, but, um, but. Along with with the the parts you know of, about a person in my relative position, there's so much you don't know right. as well. Which uh, well, that's what we're here for today. Well, we'll solve that. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to talk about the movie because I went and saw it a couple days ago. Really, is a wonderful piece. It's one of those movies that you go away, you definitely want to see again, and it causes a lot of wonderful conversation. Pleased to hear that. When I read the story, I immediately responded to the dilemma of the character. Emotionally responded. Paper said your husband was a lawyer in New Hampshire. He has an office here. Most of his work was here. And I'm in Congress. Yeah, I know. So why was he going to Miami? Business. He had business there. Are you investigating something? They were sitting together on the plane. Your husband. My wife. Do you know that? No. 3A and B. First class. First class isn't what it used to be. I don't think it's worth the money. Is Dutch like you? Well, Tough, I don't I know. know. No, I don't. I, I, he is and he ain't. Uh, I think that actors only have their own experience. And well, just, it's, to, yeah, there was such a tender on. side of you that I, I'm sorry, but I fell in love with. I mean, my heart, I, I almost, in some ways, I almost felt Dutch was more vulnerable. Well, I think he is actually more vulnerable than than the character that uh, Kristen plays. Mm -hmm. He's got a it's a it's a sort of the the bigger they are, the harder they fall kind of thing. Mm -hmm. He's a guy who thinks he knows the truth. She's in politics, so she doesn't even think there is such a thing as the truth. <laughs> but he thinks he knows the truth, and that part of his uh, you know, I mean, he believes that he's capable of of knowing who's lying to him, who's telling the truth, a very important tool in his, in his life. I'm one of the first out of generations to have a divorce. I'm one of the first to have gone through that kind of betrayal. What, was it difficult for you to create that in this movie? No, I think we had a, we had a really very, it's not part of my experience. I really don't know mm -hmm. uh, firsthand what, what that all means. But we had a script which was a, a wonderful uh, development of the idea of, 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 uh, of the film. I felt for this character. I felt, uh, um, I felt his embarrassment. I felt his, his, his sense of himself crumble. Let me ask you something tough. Are you sorry the plane went down? What are you doing? Just think about it. You can have it all back the way it was. But you guys take it all. He's lying. Laughing about how easy we are to fool. Stop. Don't do that. I'm done with them. Done with them. Yes. 
I grew up with eight brothers. I have no sisters. And just, I'm very comfortable with men, I guess, because, you know, I, that's all I ever knew growing up. But to me, I think that betrayal is more difficult for men. Do you agree with that more so than women? Well, maybe in the sense that women are expecting it. somehow never expected why why do you think i mean because to me i thought you they're played stupid <laughs> do you think that honesty is something that is a very rare quality in relationships nowadays i think there's a premium on honesty i think that people seeing what they see and reading what mm -hmm. they read in the newspapers leads them to 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 more value honesty uh, in their it's a wonderful relationships quality. yeah yeah do you ever take things home and did it did you discuss it at all with your wife and talk about those types of things um, funny enough no really no it's, why, why was I mean, well because it's very hard for me to explain to my wife what's going on I mean my wife will certainly say, how was your day, honey? And I'll say, it was fine. You know. <laughs> the typical. Yes, yeah, it was okay. We got through the work. I mean, we talk about all kinds of things, but one thing we usually don't talk about when we're doing it are the specifics of our work, because those are problems that we have to solve with the people that we're working with. Hmm. It's interesting, because it was it's the kind of movie that that I would take home and discuss the marriage so you just basically well, if i were it. in it i'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about if you weren't in it really yeah, yeah. so do, do you look it just at becomes work something else i mean it becomes work it's do you like work. going to movies i don't go much really yeah. in in the movie uh the earring was very predominant was that a choice <laughs> <laughs> um in fact it was sydney who encouraged me to to wear it in the film um really why was that I don't know. I really don't. I, uh, there, I, I, I did spend some time researching with uh, uh, the police department in, in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C., and there, there were policemen with earrings there. So it's not, it's not wrong. No, it's, it's no, I, just, I thought it was an interesting well, choice. Well, I mean, several, several people have said to me, well, a policeman with an earring? Or something. You can wear an earring anytime you want, babe. Yeah. One of the things that I love and admire, you say that every every project you take, you like to have some kind of an ethical message. Is what 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 was the message in this for you? Well, I don't know that this that this one resolves into into such an easy. I know. Answer. Um, this is probably rather more about the effects of dishonesty than it is. Which is not to say that it's negative, because there's a there's a positive relationship here. But it doesn't. The film doesn't end in a in a way that would um, that would allow you to make a, a, a clear metaphor out of it. There's clear, there's still process between these two people before they can live happily ever after. So we don't have a a kind of typical Hollywood ending where you wrap it up and put a bow on it and say everything's going to be okay. Will you go away? I wanted to do this interview. I really did. I just want to. I just want to say hello. Hey. Hi. Can, can I just you. say that now? Yeah. I'm, I'm satisfied. Now go away. I'm satisfied. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh, I love you. Do that Who again. Is he? You know he's really obnoxious. And I pray that all of his obnoxiousness is not genetic. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so Pleasure. much. You are just perfect. More Harrison Ford tomorrow, so make sure you watch. We'll be right back.